All right, here in the kitchen with John Costello and Brian Belknap from the Brown Barn Cafe in Shavertown, making Vietnamese-style spring rolls. Gentlemen, thank you so much for making some time. I do appreciate it, and I am excited because we got a little seafood that we're going to saute up, right? Yep. Um, got about a pound of shrimp here, and I put a little oil in the pan. Just roll that around a bit. Easy enough. And a pound of peeled and deveined shrimp. How hard to peel the shrimp? Simple. Simple. Yeah? Yeah. Just kind of... Okay, fair enough. Awesome. And we'll just let them cook for a couple of minutes. And then here we have um, Vietnamese rice sticks. It's a uh, rice vermicelli. Put them in the bo hot boiling water for seven minutes. Seven minutes. And um, we got a time check. Anybody? My watch isn't working. Yeah. I know what time it is. There's a clock over there. We'll be good. Just so we know. Okay. Right. Right. You, guys, can, you guys are professionals. You can eye it up anyway. It's good. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Exactly you can tell oh, okay. when they're done. Gotcha. Okay. And then we're also going to make up the, the, the dipping sauce for it, too. Okay. Which you're going to use equal amounts of sugar, fish sauce, rice vinegar, and water. And you stir this guy up until the sugar's completely dissolved. Just keep going. Okay. And then once that's all. Once all that's all combined, then you give it a nice bit of lime to brighten it up. My buzzword. We got any? Uh, we got any Coronas in the uh, fridge or no? That's all we need. <laughs> ready to go, right? Yeah, actually, that, that would go perfectly Come on, with guys, it it's too. Five o'clock somewhere. That would be perfect. <laughs> perfectly with it. Now with this sauce, you can put in some of the chili paste okay. to spice it up. I'm going to serve it both ways today. Okay, great. Okay, somebody's not looking yeah, for some Ma heat. Yeah, Monica's kind of a baby, I think, when it comes to the hot Seriously? Stuff, right? no. What? Oh, no, not at all? I thought she, she liked, liked it a little spicy, spicy. yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Well, we, we may be doing all spicy pepper everything pepper then. We were on here once. An entire one? Really? An entire chipotle pepper. I don't even want to know how that worked out. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so we got that mixing up. These are, this looks boiling. you got to watch that, obviously, too, that yep. it'll flow. Yep. That's a common mistake that I make in the kitchen all the time. Yeah. And, and you can find all these things at, at any local grocery store, either. That's cool. That, that, um, that's really cool, as well. Yeah, because fish sauce is something that people might not normally use, but you can't replace it with anything in this recipe. Very that's, nice. That's something that you have to be in. Coming along very nicely. We'll check back here in the kitchen just a little bit. These uh, spring rolls, Vietnamese style. Thank you very much, Monica. She is Miss Pennsylvania Outstanding Team 2012, and she's from Luzerne County. Meet Caitlin Miller coming up here on PA Live, and then we're going to return to the kitchen. Brian and John from the Brown Barn Cafe are cooking up these Vietnamese rolls. Check out this shrimp. All bronzed and everything now, no, no longer that platinum color. We're going to continue to do these spring rolls when we come back here on PA Live. All right, back in the kitchen with John Costello and Bryant Belknap from the Brown Barn Cafe in Shavertown. Can you say that five times fast, gentlemen? <laughs> no, all right, we'll put you on spot right now. All right, we got, we got Vietnamese-style spring rolls to get to. Uh, the recipe, uh, obviously, we'll have at pahomepage.com. What I noticed about the spring rolls compared to maybe something else that you're used to when you're rolling these types of things, they're very thin and clear. And yep. it lights, right? Exactly, and it makes everything very light. Can you hold it up just so we can? Yeah, well, here's what it looks like beforehand. Okay, that's Ta -da. before. And then you drop it in water for a little bit and it to comes moisten out it. And, right? Now, does this and make it, it a little nice sticky as well so that bit, the stuff that we throw bit, in there so will. Okay. Yep. 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 Awesome, awesome. And, and you can't leave it in the water for too long, right? I noticed before. Yeah, it'll get too, uh, it'll get too, too gunky. Wet. Right, and then, and then you got a, a broken roll. Bingo. And that's the worst thing. I mean, who wants a broken roll? No, nobody, <laughs> nobody wants a broken roll. All right, so, for that. Uh, real quick, let's recap. What ingredients are we going to put into this roll here? Okay, well, the shrimp we've sauteed. Okay. The noodles are out of the hot and boiling water. Beautiful. And then we're going to put some lettuce in. <laughs> I've taken some shredded up carrots and we pickled them a little bit. And we're going to put fresh mint and fresh basil. The All aromatics right. of those really pop out nice. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for this. Uh, John, how about you and I will kind of you follow my together? lead. Exactly. Right. All right, beautiful. Follow my lead. G give it a go First, here. grab a little wad of the rice noodles. About that much? Yeah. Okay. That's good. That should work. That and then a sure. couple of two tree shrimps. I'll take three. Don't there mind if I do. Thank you very much. There you go. I'll like two hands. We're, we're getting all in on this. A little bit of the carrot. A little carrot. Gives a nice color. A little pinch. A little pinch of carrot. Watch out, Food Some Network. Fresh basil. Some basil. And some mint. Some mint. How much mint? Oh, I just went. Okay, I, okay. I, I kind of reversed it. That's okay. On. I flipped you can it up go there. reverse. Okay. You can do it any way you want. I put the remix up on and it, a, fellas. And a great thing about these too is you can put so many different things in these. Right, now we're, okay, this is what I'm a little bit. And then so lettuce, maybe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Forgot really? about the lettuce. <laughs> so Yikes. excited about rolling these bad boys up and eating them. <laughs> we're skipping steps. Then you take it from the bottom first. Okay. And just fold it over. 
and then you do the sides. Oh, so it's it's not like a roll. It's like a yeah. You're not sitting like there roll, like rolling you're it up like a burrito a or something, right? Okay, it's like a burrito. See, the, and then you the keep actual. Going. Why don't you hold that up, John, so you can see, this. because mine is a hot mess right now. I don't even <laughs> want to show this on TV. Brownbarncafe.com for more. Monica, I promise, mine might not look good, but it's going to taste good, I think. Yeah, and that is the one that you're going to eat, Ralphie. Okay, <laughs> just so you know. Fine, I'm cool with that. <laughs>